aka Eileen, the little crafter, additional information about this show, Arch Cousin of a Day in Between, and the little crafter show. Additional information on both shows can be found on my website, EileenLittleCrafter.com. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about my uh, impression of Carmen San Diego, uh, or I think it's where it's at, Carmen San Diego, which aired on Netflix. Uh, so, this was pretty interesting. It kind of threw me back to the Wayback Machine because um, it seems like everything old is coming up new again. I'm still waiting. I mean, my my Little Pony has been having a long run show. Um, uh, Care Bears is always kind of. I mean, I didn't watch My Little Pony. Um, I I. I think my sister had like a huge collection of them. They, they were beautiful ponies. Um, and what else? I'm wondering if Care Bears is going to make a comeback. I mean, as we know, she worked made a comeback. Uh, there's kind of like a hit or miss of whether or not if there's going to be a cartoon version or a live action version of He-Man. They have been playing around with it um, on and off throughout the years. Um, there was a pretty good actually a really great rendition of uh what is that uh thundercats and then all of a sudden it said poof um but i don't know i kind of feel like that always happens when and i'm sorry if you know if you guys don't agree with me on this one but i kind of feel like that kind of happens when uh when certain shows come on netflix not netflix what is that not netflix what i went to say was uh, cartoon network um, it just kind of feels like, you know, there's good shows and then all of a sudden they just go, poof, fizzles out and it's a shame. But anyways, um, so they had that, uh, as you guys knew, Voltron came out and a lot of people are like, no, um, some people say that, you know, it should have been just done with one or two series and that this, the ending of it, which is, was bittersweet um lacked or that it really played downhill i personally liked it and um you know you guys can check that review out i'll leave that in the description or you guys can check out the podcast or in a card somewhere on this youtube video or podcast you'll find it (laughs) because it will be here on um what is that uh youtube soundcloud and stuff like that. I think I gotta update my SoundCloud. I gotta make sure make sure to see if I've updated my um stuff. But anyways, and I gotta do the uh the blog. The blog. I know I keep mentioning it. But anyways, um so yeah, so this was kind of a way back cool, interesting thing that was going on. I was like, What? Are you crazy? Um, I couldn't believe it. I'm not a really huge fan of the drawing. Um not my style, but it works, you know, it's, 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 it has enough detail, but not enough, I, I don't know, it's kind of, eh, it, it, it's a five out of like ten, you know what I mean, four and a half to, you know, just, um, some details, you know, I kind of, I like full drawing, like, I don't know, like, I guess I'm so used to, animation kind of animated style like anime styles I love when they are really detailed very elaborate and and I know that it's probably like get over yourself um but you know it's it it kind of for me left a little something to be desired upon um the plot is really interesting okay so originally Carmen San Diego was the world's greatest thief and she went around the world um Stealing the most valuable ar- artifacts of the world, like uh, the Mona Lisa smile, if I remember correctly. She stole the Mona Lisa, the whole complete one. Um, the Ni- uh, the pyramids, I think, in one adventure or caper. Um, and originally it was a computer game, PC game. And um, it had a lot of details, a lot of facts. Um, that you had to do as a detective. Um, and then later on it became uh, a cartoon with uh, two detectives and a player. Um, and it kind of mixed reality with the cartoonish style. Um, 
And Carmen San Diego basically was just like a thief, you know, like she just stole. Um, and you never got to see who she was. Um, and you knew that she wore this cute red trench coat and red hat. So she always tried to cover her face and black flurry hair. Um, yeah, so you never really got to know anything more about her than uh, why she stole. She was just a thief or whatever the case may be. Um, and this one, it's kind of different. Um, they basically, the premise is, yeah, she's the world's greatest thief, but she's stealing from thieves. Not She's not stealing from just to steal. She's stealing from the organization known as Wild. And sorry for the spoiler alerts, um, but you probably could get a lot of information if you watched uh, anything on YouTube. Um, so it was pretty interesting and it was a really good cast, great uh, voice acting, um, matched really well. And I thought that it was really fun. Um, pretty, you know, decent, uh, considering that, you know, we got from, I think the late or early 80, you know, mid 80 somewhere, um, from the original cartoon uh, version, well, from the video game. I also heard recently that there was a video game, which I didn't even know about. Um, so I'm wondering if there's going to be a spark and in interest of maybe, um, uh, what is that? Um, you know, maybe the game. I do have to say, I didn't see a lot of information about the pieces that, um, she was stealing. Like, I kind of feel like the video game and the game, uh, excuse me, what I meant to say was the cartoon, the original cartoon gave a lot more information um, and I'm wondering if it was because I believe, I can't remember if it was on PBS or where exactly the channel was that it gave, but anyways, I kind of felt like it was locking in that department and they basically focused on trying to stop vile. And I mean, they gave a little bit of detail, but I kind of feel like it didn't give enough detail like the other, the original premise of the, <clears throat> of the, the software game and the original cartoon. So, and the fact that she's not just a villain, she steals from other thieves. So, it's a pretty interesting premise. Um, that's my only gripe, that they don't give information about what she's stealing. Um, so, let's go into season one. Pretty much season one is basically she's um, gotten her training from Viol. Um, she doesn't know who her parents are. She's been found. Uh, and then she realizes that the place that found her is not the place that she really wants to be. And she's seen their true colors. So she basically uh, steals some information to um, be able to steal from them and give back to the people that uh, they have stolen from and give to charities along the way. But <laughs> it's kind of funny because they peg her as the greatest criminal, but she's, I mean, technically she is, because if you're stealing from a bunch of thieves, an organization of thieves, you know, that is pretty interesting. Um, so basically you're trying to figure out who she is and you're learning her backstory about how she gets, um, what is that? Her name, her identity, her, you know, um, her drive. So you get to learn about that while she's um, going about a bunch of different keepers. So it was pretty, like I said, it was a pretty good introduction um, and fun. And uh, like I said, I like the voice characters. Um, the drawing is a little, like I said, for me anyways, a little less desired. You know, it could have more detail. But um, all in all, I don't think it's a horrible, you know, show to watch if you, you know, what let the kitties watch or if you're interested you know if you don't have anything else to watch um me i'm always into you know animation or anime or cartoons i'll give it a shot and uh i i'm pretty impressed i was pretty impressed you know so i definitely would say i would recommend it and uh, i hope that you guys enjoy if you do watch it please let me know what you think about it uh down in the comments below uh is it a yay nay or pass um 
you know, if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Or you can always email me your comments or questions. My email address is Eileen at Eileen the Com uh, Little Crafter. And uh, yeah, so that is it for me, guys. I have a bunch of stuff that I got to work on. I know I keep saying that. And um, we shall see what the future holds. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I'm actually going to be uh, reviewing, I think next week, what I want to do is, uh, if I finish it, um, I'm going to be doing uh, my first review on the other show that I'm watching on Netflix, which is the uh, Protector. So that's an interesting movie. Um, it's a foreign film that's dubbed in English. It's a Netflix original and it has a very interesting story. Alrighty, guys, so like I said, if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Or you can always email me your comments or questions. My email address is Eileen at EileenLilCop.com. Thank you for listening, and I will catch you next Thursday. Bye for now.